it is common to observe a silo mentality in organizations. Functional teams feel isolated from other teams. They're reluctant to share information. It's us and them as if we were working in different companies. The end customer, the one who pays the salaries, is remotely out there. What can be done to change that attitude and place the customer at the center of our work? Internal customer and supply management in the mini business unit strongly contributes to an external customer focus. In a mini business unit, the employees run their area as a mini enterprise. They have an identity. They have a mission to deliver a service or a product to their internal or external customers. And to satisfy them, they must deliver the right stuff on time and they can't break the bank to do that. Quality, speed and cost effectiveness. Much like the organization mission, the MBU mission is customer-centered and it answers the questions, what do we do, who is our customer, and how do we satisfy them? An example of mission for the dispatch MBU can read, we keep our warehouse safe and organized. We pick accurately, load, and dispatch on time for the sales department and our end customers. Another example of mission for a human resources MBU could be, We implement and support HR processes in order to improve employee welfare, empowerment, growth, and retention at company X to the benefit of heads of departments. We want their teams to be happy to come to work on Mondays. In a service level agreement, the MBU teams are now going to define more specifically what they want from their suppliers and what their customer wants from them. But also, they need to understand what the supplier needs to meet the customer wants. For example, if production wants their equipment maintained, they will be required to make it available to the maintenance crew. The SLA contributes to reduce the frictions in the relationships between customer-supplier teams, but it only works when it is used. The SLA defines the rules of the game, but now we need to play the game. Both teams agree on a regular cycle of supplier visits to their internal customer or vice versa, but the purpose of reviewing the mutual performance of each team against the SLA. The outcome of the visit is documented. A nonconformity may be raised whenever a commitment in the SLA is repetitively breached. A nonconformity can naturally lead to a problem-solving activity captured in a corrective action. Both visits to customers of corrective actions are opportunities to improve processes. Improvements can be innovations. Loop 3, Integrating Improvement, describes the flow between nonconformity, corrective action, and innovation. The process performance is now improved. The SLA can be updated, and the MBU team has improved its ability to fulfill its mission. And the loop is closed. Thank you for watching. I'm looking forward to talking to you again in the next video. We will see how various solutions are linked together to manage system or process health. And more specifically, we'll zoom on the audit solution.